Hello my YouTubers, welcome back to another World Nintendo video. Yes guys, it's been a long time since I haven't done another World of Nintendo video. I know I have been lacking with this series now, but today we're finally back with another one. And especially Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is very close to release. We have like two months away. I decided to pick up some action figures, some of the characters are actually in the game or not. Because this is Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, and today we're going to be unboxing Iggy, one of the Koopa Links from the Super Mario Bros. series. As you know, this is, uh, this is actually 2-7, and now we have moved up to 3-1, so now we're in Wave 3. So we're actually in Wave 3 right now, so that's pretty exciting. I do have the Mario and Cappy video, but I might save that for a special day, which is coming up very soon. Here is a worm Nintendo figure. Here is Iggy, one of the Koopalines. And this is, and at the video I'm recording, this is the only Koopaline that Jack Specific had ever made. However, I really wish that they can make more in the future. But at this time, we have Iggy right now. So here it is. Iggy with a one accessory. Shows that Iggy has 10 points of articulation. You can get Mario, or actually Raccoon. Raccoon Mario. There is Iggy, Mela Mario, and Hammer Bro. I do want to get Hammer Bro and Raccoon Mario. The Metal Mario looks really cool, but the accessory I kind of kind of doesn't make any sense. But that is actually one of the coolest accessories in my opinion. Probably one of my favorite accessories that Jack Pacific, that Jack Pacific have ever made so far. So as you can see, it comes with a little wand here. So let me show you a little wand. The picture it looks like a prototype, but what does we got here? So Iggy is a really really crazy Koopaline. And now, yes, he's actually in Smash Brothers. He's actually a skin for Bowser Jr. I can't wait to open Iggy because he's one of the first bad guys, or the first Koopa Lean bad guys. So, let's go ahead and open Iggy and take a closer look at him. Now, here is the Iggy action figure. He looks really fantastic. I think his scope. Looks phenomenal, and as you notice that I keep, he falls because I can't really send him up, so I'm going to try to stand him up. So this, the box is just actually 11 points of articulation, so here's the the one that's an accessory, looks really cool. Here's a little Iggy figure, looks really cool, so that is his movement, he can move his arm, so looks, no, actually his, his leg looks really cool. You can move his feet, it's like a little ball, ball joint. So he could run and all that, and he can move his hand. Really cool, and there's a little hall where, where I could place the wand to Iggy Koopa. And I, yeah, I think he he has an articulated head, I don't know, but looks like he, no, he doesn't have like an articulated leg. But the scope of him is really cool. He's like the only like Koopa lean action figure, and it's really, uh, it's really cool how Jack Pacific is now stepping up, because they have been lagging. This year, I do love that now they're bringing in Splatoon. I thought it's a really awesome idea. I do want to see like arms and more Nintendo franchises such as Kirby. Well, it might be difficult because of how laboratory and all that, but I think F Zero will make a lot of sense. Fire Emblem, not too sure about that, but it most likely attracts to teenagers and adults. But I think I think arms or um, F Zero will make a lot of sense. So this would be exciting to see. He has some movement of his arm, looks really cool. You can turn to the waist, looks really cool. Can you turn his his arm? Looks like you can, but he has a ball joint. Which is kind of stiff at this knit one and two. He doesn't want to, so. Okay, this one does, but not the other one. So the really cool action figure, I do really like Iggy. Looks like you can separate him, so you can make him like a boss in new Super Mario Brothers. The new Super Mario Bros. series. Well, actually, Iggy first appeared in Super Mario Bros. 3, which they actually made a grand return when the new Super Mario Bros. series comes in. And they became popular once again, so it's really cool. Here's Iggy with, with the magic wand looking really cool. I think it's a really obvious sense because, of course, they carry a wand, so this would be really cool. You can recreate the boss scene, so it would be really cool. Unfortunately, his head doesn't like rotate, unfortunately. But you can make him a lot of things, like, you know, you can make him, like, he can fight Mario, and it'd be really, you know, I don't have the Bowser action figure, but I'll get him 
Sunday if Jack Pacific re-released them. And that's another, that's another thing I like about Jack Pacific. Now they're re-releasing the action figures, which that actually makes a lot of people happy. Especially I do, I never got any... Never got... Actually, I always never completed the way because I usually go for the Mario characters and Splatoon characters. And maybe um, Pikmin, but I think I might go for Mario and Splatoon because those are my my favorite uh, franchises of all time. There's Iggy. Now you can make him um, a little bossy, so now you can like fight him. Okay, there you go. So he should be able to stand up. Now let's bring in little Mario and Cappy here. So I don't have, I do have the action figure about my C before another time. So there you go. Now you can recreate this boss. Hey Mario, I'm gonna destroy you. I don't think so. <laughs> so let me get Iggy. I wonder if you can capture Iggy. Let's see. Oh, looks like he oh, it looks like it does. Oh no, his hair is too big. Look at that. It fits perfectly, except the hair is in the way. Imagine, that'd be really cool if we can capture Iggy. Oh no, Mario, I'm gonna catch you this time. So here's a little one, it's really cool. So I do like this Iggy action figure, so really, really awesome, awesome figure. I do wish that they could make more Koopalings, but but they'll make more in the future, which this will be exciting for many Mario fans, especially I too. So guys, this will be the end of the review. <laughs> okay, this will be the end of the review of the Iggy action figure. He looks really amazing on his own, and I can't wait to see. Imagine they made like a a big Koopaling pack that would cost like sixty dollars with because it comes with all of them. So this will be really exciting to see Iggy now. So. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give a like and subscribe and see you guys for another video. Peace out and bye bye.